Hello everyone and welcome back again to my YouTube channel, Sir Jason's Math Corner. So in this video, we are going to talk about uh, some uh, expression that has to be factored completely. So that's factoring completely. So when we say completely, there must be no uh, 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 remaining expression that is still factorable. So because sometimes in... Um, we will meet in our life or in our life in math, we will meet or we will be able to meet um, random problems involving factoring that um, um, a lot of factoring method will be applied. Say, for example, if we can have 5x cubed plus 625. So you are entitled or you are tasked to factor out completely 5x cubed plus 625. So take note of this. So pag nakita nyo na po ang even, dapat nyo isaisip na the first method that you have to use is to look for the common monomial factor. So by simply looking at this given expression, we can conclude that there is a common monomial factor in which it is 5. So, because 5x cubed is divisible by 5 and as well as 625 is also divisible by 5. So, let's uh, write it here. So, that's 5. Then you factor out. 5x cubed divided by 5, that's x cubed. 625 divided by 25, that's 125. Now, is this still factorable? Yes, of course. x cubed plus 125. Remember, we have um, sum of two cubes. We have an expression that is factorable uh, that is called sum of Two cubes and this format is still in a format of sum of two cubes therefore this can still be factored out so you just rewrite again five and then you factor out sum of two cubes we know already the rules in factoring sum of two cubes so first uh, there must be two factors the first factor is the cube roots of each of the term so the cube root of x uh, we know already that you ma you will only divide the exponent by 3. So that's x. Then the cube root of 125. So you find a number that when multiplied by itself 3 times, the result is 125. And that's 5 because 5 times 5 is 25 times 5 is 125. So that's the second factor out of uh, the original uh, expression. So the second factor would be, so we will write first the squares of each term in the first factor. Then that would, that must be the first and third term of the next factor. So that the square of xx is x squared. The square of 5, that's 5 squared. So that's 25. That's not 5 squared. That's 25. And then, so you just simply multiply the first factor and the sec uh, the first term and the second term of the first factor and then directly multiply it to the opposite operation being used to that certain factor so that's minus 5x therefore the complete uh, the factored out or the complete factored form of 5x cubed plus 625 is 5 times x plus 5 times x squared minus 5x plus 25. So, do not ever forget to write your steps because that will be, um, your teacher might be asking for how did you get this uh, answer? Why did you come up with that answer, with that certain answer? Okay, so let's have a last example x raised to 4 minus 16y 
raised to 4. So this is obviously difference of 2 squared. So by applying our knowledge on how to factor out difference of 2 squares, so we just simply get the square root of each term regardless of the operation being used. So the square root of x raised to 4, that's x raised to 4, then yung exponent is 2 divided by 2. So that's x squared. Then, you just simply get the square root of the second term as well, regardless of this operation. So that square root of 16 is 4. The square root of y raised to 4 is y squared. Then you simply copy again, x squared for y squared. Then we simply uh, put or add on the operations or the conjugates, the plus and minus. So that these factors are the conjugates to each other, are conjugates to each other. But take note, since the, the, the instruction says you have to factor out completely the given expression. So since x squared minus 4y squared is still factorable and why is it still factorable? It's because uh, x squared is a perfect square, 4y squared is still a perfect square because the square root of 4 is still 2, and then y squared has still a square root. So we need to factor out again x squared minus 4y squared so that we could come up with a final answer. So let's just put it here. Since x squared plus 4y squared is no longer factorable, so you just simply copy or write down x squared plus 4y squared. And then you factor out x squared minus 4y squared. So that's the square root of x is x. The square root of 4y squared is 2y. Then multiply x 2y. Then put, just put the uh, operation. The factored form of x raised to 4 minus 16y raised to 4 is equal to x squared, the quantity of x squared plus 4y squared times the quantity of x plus 2y times the quantity of x minus 2y. So that's how we factor out completely uh, random expressions. And of course, you have to apply or recall your knowledge on the different factoring techniques, uh, common monomial factoring, uh, factoring difference of two squares, factoring sum and difference of two cubes, any knowledge that you have learned in the previous lesson. So you just apply those so that you could come up with a completely factored form of an expression. And that's for this video. Thank you for watching this and I hope that you have already subscribed to my YouTube channel, Sir Jason's Math Corner. So see you in the next video.